So in this talk, I'm going to give the chain rule for partial differentiation, not the full version, but I'm going to give you a version which is just when you, where you have two functions of one variable and one function of two variables, which takes as input these two functions. So here you have f and g are functions of one variable, u and v are the corresponding output uh, outputs for the function, and w is h of u and v, so it's h of fx comma gx. Okay, and now what I want to figure, I'm going to use both the Leibniz notation and the prime notation to say what I'm saying. What I want to figure is, I want to figure out, so I'm going to also say, let's, let's use another notation. So let's call h w is hx, capital hx. So capital h is sort of like, like this composite function. So capital h is just the function which is defined as h of fx comma gx. Okay, so now what is dw dx, the derivative of w with respect to x. So this is kind of like, so you see why I call this a chain rule. It's like the chain rule. If I just had, if I just had like h of fx, right, then it would just, I would just be trying to use a chain rule to figure out how to, how to do this differentiation. But now I have h of fx comma gx. So, so the idea is, okay, so the idea is to, 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 to write down the sort of, what's happening is sort of w depends on x through two, two pathways. Maybe I'll make a picture here. You have x, you have u and v. How is, how is u dependent on x? We are what? Uh, function f. f. And v is dependent on x. Here. And then w is dependent on these two sort of combined. H via h. Okay, so now w is dependent on x through two pathways. One is by this h and f, one is by h and g. So what you have to do is you have to figure out the contribution through each pathway and there'll be a chain rule for each pathway and then we add it down. So what you'll get is, you'll get, this is about the chain rule, so it's dw du. And here I have to use a partial. Why do I have to use a partial? Because w depends on two variables. So I have to use the partial notation, but and times the derivative of u with respect to x. So u is just dependent on one variable, so I can just use the ordinary derivative. So, so we use ordinary derivatives when it just depends on one variable, and partial derivatives when it depends on additional variables. But you can you can use a partial instead of the ordinary, even if it's one variable. I mean, it's, that's just like overkill. You could do that. Now, what is the second piece going to be? What's, what do you think the second thing is going to be? The partial derivative of the W with respect to V mm -hmm. by dV dx. The ordinary derivative. Okay, good. Now, how how, yeah. how can you just uh, plus them? Well, so what is, I mean, that's what the rule says. And what what's basically what is basically saying is that there are uh, sort of two sort of there are two ways in which x is affecting w. One is via u and one is via v. So why and you have to add, add up the contributions of of each of through each of the ways. Yeah, I mean the the a real answer to why would require a full proof, which is which is too it should take too long. But but yeah, I mean it's it's essentially you have these two pathways and you have to add up both the contributions. So so let's see, can you write this down in in the without this leadness type notation in the in the other notation. So dw du is h sub u of u comma v, right? What is du dx? It's just f prime x plus, what will this be? Uh, g sub v. No, it's just h sub, still h sub. Oh, yeah, it's h sub v times g prime x. Okay, so that's another way of writing it. If you want, you can just convert everything in terms of x. So it's, uh, it's well, I, I, I don't want to use u now if I'm writing everything in terms of x. I'll write h sub 1. Here, 1 just means I'm differentiating with respect to the first coordinate. Okay, so it's h sub 1 of fx gx times and 
this is also equal to capital H prime of x. If you're just writing it, function the one way. Plus h sub 2 of fx gx. So 1 is just fx, 2 is just gx. Yeah, and 1 is just the first input, 2 is just the second input. I mean, I, I, I could use u and v, but, but I'm, since I'm not writing the letters u and v here, it may not be clear what. Yeah. This is another way of writing partials. You can write the number of the input if you don't want to write the input letter here. But it's confusing. So you shouldn't, if you're using this, you should, you should say clearly that's the notation you're using. Uh, times u prime x. So, so these are the, these are the notations. And, and the important thing is the idea. The idea is you are trying to figure out all the intermediate variables. So this is the, x is the input. These are the intermediate variables. Intermediate. And w is the output. And you first figure out all the pathways of dependence and then you add, add stuff up. Okay? Okay. 